If these fields transport enough energy to the surface, they can fuel magnificent jets called prominences. Covering an even larger area, active regions can burst forth in white-hot solar flares that release the energy of over a million hydrogen bombs. But the magnetic fields that spur this energy release can also stifle it. As a result, active regions are often flanked by sunspots, where surface temperatures can drop by as much as 2,000 degrees Celsius. Four centuries ago, Galileo Galilei was the first to argue that these blotches were actually on the sun's surface, though he suspected they were clouds. Their nature remained unclear until 1908, when astronomer George Ellery Hale demonstrated the link between sunspots and intense magnetic fields. When a cluster of sunspots appears, it's a sign that magnetic energy is building below the surface to staggering levels. This view, captured by the Hinode satellite, shows energy escaping from the vicinity of a sunspot in wavy, grass-like structures called spicules. At temperatures in the millions of degrees, these short-lived jets are thought to be one reason the solar atmosphere is so much hotter than the visible surface. In this sequence, you can see a solar flare erupting among a cluster of sunspots. This energy release can take on added power if the sunspots rotate like vast hurricanes under the influence of the sun's own spinning motions. The magnetic fields begin to twist around and the energy within them to rise. These spinning motions have been linked to the largest solar eruptions of all. 